For cheap and reliable FIFA 16 coins, go to golda.com, use code TOM for a discount. Link in the video's description. What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Career Roadshow with a brand new episode. And uh, I'm on transfer deadline day at the moment and finally we got another loan offer from one of, for one of the youth academy players, Octavio Cortez, and I'm willing to loan him out. I want to improve his rating. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what is your prediction for the Leicester City Chelsea game tonight. Really looking forward to watching Monday Night Football. Some of you guys suggested uh, this guy for for uh, transfer, Kalachi Ihanacho, but at the moment, uh, you know, we are on transfer deadline and he's on 60k weekly wages. He just signed a new contract, so I think he would cost me more than six million pounds. So I think I will just wait until the summer, until I scouted him and then I will see what his rating is and maybe next season we can afford him, he's one of the most exciting young players. And Chelsea signed success because I guess they want great success, that's why they are buying it. <laughs> oh man, that's just terrible. <laughs> we played Newcastle twice in the FA Cup and we managed to beat them on the replay but now it's a Premier League game and we need to win this if we want to get closer to Arsenal and put real pressure on them. Oh, this is... this is beautiful! Oh! Almost in! Oh no. Oh, Quincy is hurt. Ah, damn it! Okay, let's bring on Origi. He has done really well recently, both in real life and in this career mode. What happened to Quincy? Oh yeah, he falls badly. That could be a nasty, nasty knee injury. Klein! Oh, look at that shot by Klein! Come on. Beautiful. Come on, Bazaar! And Origi can't put it in. Wow, we are battering Newcastle here. Beautiful. Come on. Surely, Origi! Yes! Origi has done it! 1 0! The substitute scores! Quincy getting injured was a blessing in this, guys, because Origi comes on and makes a big difference. Look at that lovely skill! And Coutinho, the pass master, picks out Origi. And it that takes a massive deflection. But we will take it. No, no. Oh boy! Go back! Oh no! Don't! What a save! That is one of the best saves of the season. Look at this. Incredible by Leno. No. No! Ah, oh, we are lucky. Oh, please. Jovetic! Whoa, they hit the bar. Teote. Newcastle had the chances. To get something from this game, but they are missing everything. We need that second goal, guys. There is no two ways about it. Jesus. Oh, what a mistake. Come on. Griezmann, what a fine counter-attack. Let's go. Griezmann finishes Newcastle off. He has been riding the goal scoring train, guys, like crazy. Oh, look at this. Brilliant. Fantastic pass by Origi. And what a finish by Griezmann. 2 0. Bullet. Another brilliant victory. And Newcastle must be sick of the sight of Liverpool by this point. They got a draw, we smashed them 4-2 at their place and now we smashed them 2 0 But to be fair to Newcastle, they had a lot of good chances, they hit the bar. Not very good news, Quincy is out for a month but we have a lot of backup players, Balotelli, Origi, so Ibe, so we can, we can cope with that. And also Emre Can wants higher wages and he has been a very very good player, and yeah only 60k. And he deserves a bigger contract, so let's give him 90k and uh, yeah, let's give him an important first team player role because he is exactly that. And guys, believe it or not, but we can go top of the league or good run of form 
really helped us climb the league table after a really terrible start. But now we can smash Aston Villa. I'm switching formation and Moreno is back from his long injury spell. No! Oh, yes! I honestly thought Sinclair would score that. He had an open goal and he hits the post. Oh, they hit the post again! And Sinclair misses an open goal again. Incredible. Ericsson. To Firmino! Oh, why? Keeper. Yes. Go on! Ah, straight at the keeper. Look at this. Yes. Ericsson! He has done it! Christian Eriksen makes it 1-0 and shake that booty, shake that ass, that is brilliant. Eriksen and Griezmann combining to deadly effect, look at the run Eriksen does, going in the box and that's the key, you should finish first time in the box so the goalkeeper doesn't have time to react. Emre, Chan, go on Sturridge, that's a pen. That is a penalty. Oh no. Oh no, Sinclair is in. No! Yes! Oh, Butland, this is incredible. The goalkeepers in this episode are making ridiculous saves. Look at that. No, no, no! Oh my god. Oh, please. Oh, yes, yeah, Sturridge. He's in. Storage! What a goal. Brilliant. Let's do the storage dance. With the outside of his favorite left foot. He seals the game. And similar to the similar to the previous game, we finish the game off by a counter-attack. That is a great finish by Storage. Yes! What a great win! This was a really tough game, Aston Villa. We're fighting really hard and they had some chances at nil nil they could have taken the lead. We have to thank Butland again. And we kept two clean sheets in a row and that was a long long time since that happened. We put a really strong run together and now we are top of the Premier League table. We have the best goal difference, we scored the most goals in the league. It's, it's turning out to be a very entertaining season so far really hope that you guys are enjoying it so here are the premier league top scorers wayne rooney are the top is the top scorer griezmann though has nine goals quincy promise has eight which is brilliant storage has six and yeah we are moving up the table very nicely leno has seven clean sheets and let's take a look at some of the young players and how they are developing in the squad report so butland has one Watland's rating went up by two, which is very promising. Cortez, who is now unknown at Reading, I hope that he will improve by a lot of points, a lot of rates. Victor Sampaio, unknown at Real Madrid, is improving as well. And yeah, Flanagan isn't going sadly, but Ryan McLaughlin is very, very nice. Technical attributes all went up. Nathaniel Klein, also some of his stats have grown, have went up. Have gone up which is very good david harley unknown at birmingham look at that oh man he will be an absolute legend in this career mode when he reaches his full potential yeah let's take a look at some of the other young players rudiger is already growing already improving his physical and mental attributes dominic lane has went up by free rating ratings at bayern munich another youth figure player robertson is now same rating as Moreno, 75, they are 79, sorry, they are both 79 rated. Joe Gomez, I, th I think I need to train him to improve his rating. As you can see, Moreno is 79 as well. Ruben Neves, I'm training him and Emre Chan as well and Tolisso. So hopefully these three players can turn into world-class midfielders. Bazur is already a world-class midfielder, he's very, very good, just like Henderson who is out for three more months with, the, with that terrible ACL injury that he suffered earlier. Leroy Sané, also I'm training him, he's not growing yet, but uh, Shedji Ojo as well, not very 
very promising, but Coutinho is going very nicely. He's now 87, 6 goals and 8 assists. That's quite brilliant. And uh, Firmino didn't grow, but Luis Alberto didn't as either. But Cameron Branigan, his loan spell really helped him. He's now 68 rated, which is very good. Taishiro also growing very nicely. And Daniel Hurd, even though he isn't on, out alone, his rating went up by 3. Nunez's rating went up by 4. Wow, these youth Academy players look really promising. Quincy Promise, another stellar season for him. And I'm training Divo Corrigi's, uh, you know, finishing and uh, everything, <laughs> everything improved except his finishing. But... But yeah, his um, Origi is having a good season as well, just like Daniel Sturridge. We have so many awesome players now. Jerome Sinclair improved by two. Yashil improved by one. And then Ings uh, at Hoffenheim he's, uh, hasn't grown. But remember, he wanted to leave the club, so that's why I loaned him out. He will be a big part. He will play a big part next season. Then Ings when he comes back. Josh Jarvis, another youth academy player going going nicely and Vabara oh my goodness he played one game in the Champions League for Juventus and he scored in that and look at that amazing growth by Vabara very happy with him and just like just like him just like Watmo he's he's ni nicely improving at Atletico Madrid this is why you need to loan out some of these youth Italian players because they are they are growing very nicely anyway that was it for today's Liverpool career with episode Thanks for watching, if you want to see more, smash the like button, see you later guys, goodbye!